Welcome back to Ukulele. Let's see how far we can get. We're we're on to the last world. I got tired of, of the casino. Uh wasn't fun anymore. <laughs> that was a really annoying area. Especially looking back. Not my type of jam. I think I have, like, super charge on this thing now. I can just run forever. And it barely wastes anything. Um... Yeah. I still got it. So, if I remember correctly, I can't lick it. Yeah, I have to do that to get power up. The energy up, I mean. Alright, Trouser, let's go. Greetings, my old pals. The next free of charge move is the one you've been waiting for. The one that will let you swore like an eagle carrying a serpent. <laughs> Finally, I was starting to think it'd never teach us anything useful. To start flappy flight, simply hold left trigger and then press X. You can see then... Oh, you can then use A to fly in. L to descend. With that, you've learned all my free of charge moves. Yeah, yeah. See you on the next book world, chaps. It's been emotional. <laughs> See you soon, trouser. Okay, so left trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simply hold and then press X. You can then use A to fly. And, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, this is way better than I thought. Honestly, kind of still prefer how they did it in Banjo Kazooie the Flying. It was more limited because you couldn't fly anywhere or at any time you wanted, but I don't know, I like that. Oh. What? Can we not? Oh, we can't. Okay. We're out of here. Huh. I thought that would definitely be the solution. Hey, Kaya. How are you today? We, uh, just learned how to fly. Which is... It really is the best power-up flying in any game. I love flying. It always puts a smile on my face. I am doing well! Um... Uh, I'm being honest, not as good as I was. Yesterday? I don't even remember. I, I, I... I'm back to that weird, like, eh, kind of like... Not feeling too great. But... Feeling good enough. Oh... You'd think that these would be, like, Easter eggs. Well, they are, but, like... You'd think that you'd be able to collect... Ooh, that shadow. It doesn't look very good. Um... Seems like a very linear area. Knock knock, who's there? Iguana, Iguana who? Iguana kicked these two chomps straight out of my building. Oh yeah, this is King Pun himself. It's gonna be a very punny... Punny... I can't even pun. It's gonna be a very punderful... Section of the game. No, no, that, that one doesn't work. Not a pun person. <laughs> my accidental pun is better than my 
actual pun. I'm not a very pun-oriented person. Oh, so many things. Oh, I hear a... I was about to call this a Jiggy. It's a Pagey in this game. Uh... <laughs> no, I think... Ooh, that's final boss level, I think. Ivory Towers. Well, we still have a whole world to explore before going there. Oh, I bet this game's gonna get way punnier. Way punnier. Ooh. I'm actually excited about this world. It's time to radicalize our outlook. Double the number of collectibles. You'll need 12. 12? I have like... I have double. Over double. That's, uh... Remember, you can choose to expand this world once you've found 15 pages. 15! Just stand on the Grand Tome Switch when you're ready. I think this is the first time I don't have enough if I wanted to just straight up expand the world. Uh, I think I have 14. It's gonna... Yeah, I have 14. This is the first time. Oh, the bees are back. Please leave bees. I don't know how to make you leave. Okay. Dude, Kaya. Our talk about food last time left me so hungry. <laughs> I, I had already had dinner at that point. But, oh, oh, I like this music. What is all this? Ah! <laughs> don't, note to self, don't explore too much. Oh, there's a secret! Look at this world full of secrets. Can I make it or should I wait? I'm suddenly super excited! <laughs> this world sounds cool. Where am I going? Oh man. No, 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 no! Oh, I survive here? <laughs> Give me a- why? Why don't you just kill me? It's so much easier. I guess not dying is the punishment here. Can I do it? Yeah. Where is the... Oh, there it is. Alright. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing on top. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I might not even be able to complete this, whatever it is. It feels like I should break that. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Oh no. Oh yes. No. I want to climb it first. Alright. Climbing did nothing. Oh, it's one of you guys. Nice, you unlocked a new tonic. Come pay me a visit. I'm betting I can break this. Yep. Nice. Why I would? Oh, it's because I can't exit that way. Okay. Oh. I thought that this would... Oh! Would just be death falling here, but it's water. It is purple. It's very purple. It's very 50s, like, those very campy horror space movies. How am I supposed to do- oh. I love how those look. Space jellies! 
Oh, I completely missed all of these. Look at those space jellies. I am immediately more interested in this world than I have been in any of the other ones. You unlock these fly tubes. Ugh. <laughs> oh no, I'm dying. But if you want to overcome any other force fields, you want to purchase the sonar shield move. Cool, we got a fast travel. To yeah, yeah, use yeah. a fly tube, simply stand in the door and fly. Your momentum will trigger the super suction of the pipes. I wonder where you'll end up. Well, you know, judging from the pipe trouser, we're probably gonna end up where we were. Oh, there you are. Just behind me, telling me all these things. I was like, where are you talking from? Hey, trouser, how's business? Stellar and trousers outgrown the planet side market, so it's time to expand and my moving bootleg designer shorts business to time and space. Trousers, such a big deal up here, I've already noticed a few moons thinking about orbiting my shop. All right, Captain Modest, let's talk more action. Show us the deals. Yes, miss. You won't believe the bargains I can offer in this world. There's no tax in space. Watch them be the most expensive ones. Yep. <laughs> Top choice. Are you sure this is the move you're after? This... Next move, Trouser uses to keep crazy fans from touching. Okay. Yeah, right. Who'd want to touch your scaly hide? With Sonar Shield, you'll be invincible to all damage for a short time. Simply hold right trigger and press Y to perform. Remember, you only last a short time. Trouser Co. isn't liable for any fights you start. Alright, let's try it. We have all... Power-ups. Leaving already? Come back soon. Let's try it. Ooh. Oh, it's not a, just a short time. It's until my... My meter goes down. Paz says it's kind of funny how he wears shorts. Yeah, it... I like that. Like, he goes in one side and goes out the other. And his, like, little edge or corner or whatever. Is, uh... Is his tail? Oops, didn't mean. And you know, you know, it's also a pun. He is, he is a pun. Because he's a trouser snake. He, he's a trouser snake. All right, I'll see myself out. Ah! I didn't expect the water to be right there. I thought, I thought it would be a little bit farther down. Oh wow, everything's just here. This is a way more connected world than any of the previous ones, except for the first one. Look at these guys. Again, sure, they're the same exact baddies we've been fighting, but they look different. Oh, I actually kind of like how they look here. How their eyes go all crazy. Man, I wish each one of these were like, a, you needed to fight them in a different way. <clears throat> but then again, I'm beating a dead horse here. I, uh, I've said that specifically quite a few times. Forget I can fly now, I don't need to do this. I... Hey, Dog Fancy seeing you out here! Yes, hello! I'm afraid you've... Oh, I forgot. I can't... One minute I'm studying the interstellar marine life, the next I find myself lost at sea. Understandable, really. I suppose it must be quite tough to see with that big pot on your head. Could you be ever so kind and find something back to land to help guide me back? Back on land to help guide me back? There must be a device to light the way. If you can get me back to land, I can transform you 
with my magnificent DN Ray. See, this is what I'm talking about. All the other levels, she's just standing by her DN Ray. Here, we actually have to do something cool to get her to the DN. It's like a side quest. This is fun. It's not just getting a pagey either. You're like you're doing something that changes the world and affects how that works. Also, I, I'm curious to see how they do flying in these levels. Oh no. Because flying tends to break games. It's one of those things that it's great, it's awesome, but it breaks a game. Unless you're a really good designer. That's why flying is... Flying is usually very limited, if you think Mario 64 was the pioneer of 3D flying in, like, a game that wasn't about flying. Let's all start up here. Um, it was... you couldn't get that much higher from what you started. You could do that a little bit by, like, flying down, getting some speed and going up. But, uh, it was more of a glide than a fly. And that prevented people from, you know, going anywhere anytime. But you could pretty much get anywhere with that alone, so. But you think Mario Galaxy, their flying uh, power-ups, they were very limited. Because that those, A, the game design there is actually pretty good to not allow you to do anything too crazy with the flying. Because they're all islands that you can't really fly to from one another. And the only time you actually had free flight was in the hub in Galaxy 1 with that, like, black and red hat. Otherwise, you had the bee suit that allowed you to hover a little bit, but that was pretty much it for flying, I'm pretty sure. And Yoshi gliding. That's not really flying, he just flutters a little bit. But yeah, I love flying in games that aren't, you know, flying simulators or whatever. It just feels so liberating. Oh, I haven't found one pagey in this world yet. Or have I? No, I didn't. No, no, I didn't. I got a... I got those Ghost Riders. Also, Ghost Rider is a pun. I guess. I need to break these! I just get angry about it. Uh, I can fly, I keep forgetting. I, I don't need to climb the usual way. I can just fly. Oh no. Please don't hurt me. Okay. Well, alright. Why am I doing this? I can fly! <laughs> Again. No reason. This seems like a small world. I hope it isn't as small as it looks. Mario Galaxy much? Me that quilt. Thank you. This is very Mario Galaxy. Like, very Mario Galaxy. Ah! Uh, okay. Oh no! <sighs> Alright. Thank you. Oh, and there's that door, too. I, I just completely ignored the door. Wow, you, f you fly really far. Really far. Ha <laughs> ha 
There we go. Thanks for bringing- oh! That's what this was? Uh, I thought we were- ah, uh, It's just a button. <laughs> I thought we actually got to do something. Game, I just complimented you! Come on. Whoa, that thing just went through the ground. Okay. Game, I, I just finished giving you so many compliments. Come on. Ow. I still need to find the molly cool, I'm pretty sure. Or was this it? Instead of finding the molly cool, I just need to do this. It was ever so kind of you to activate the light speed house. You really helped me come to, into port. Have you discovered this book world's book world's molly cool yet? I can use it to power up my marvelous DN Ray. Haven't we done enough running around for one game? It's essential that you find this world's molly cool if you want to power my next transformation. I'm back when you've discovered it. Thank you. Alright. Ooh, that's shattered glass. I know what to do with shattered glass. How to Nope. Nope, that's flying. That's the opposite. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You're burping. Oh, hey, guy. Hmm. I can't become honey. I can become... Uh... What else? Ooh, ice! I'll use this ice. Thank you. To feed this guy. Yep. Hey, brainy dude. What? Alright. Water, fire. Wow, they just give me every single power up. Okay, what power up do I need here? Uh. Except the one I seem to need? Okay, this one I need weight. I need to make myself heavy. I'll grab it over here. This is- feels like- this world feels like they- they're just throwing everything at me. Oh. Uh. Oh, how do I blow- oh, I need to melt it. That's how. Okay. Get the fire. Lightning. Lightning? Lightning? Light? I have light power. I don't have lightning power. What in the world is lightning? Lightning. I'm so great. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I hear electricity. What is this? <gasps> this is no! I'm electric. Whoa, okay, so I need electricity and ice. Uh, these aren't the best challenges. <laughs> They're very simple. There we go. Oh, game. Come on, don't freeze on me. Okay, okay. I learned how to unfreeze it. I just need to click the mouse once. Really weird. And I need the explosion one to blow this one up. So, go back. I think I saw the explosion one back here. Yeah, there it is. 
And I'm guessing I'll need the only one. No! Buka. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna blow everything up as fast as I can. There's nothing here. Oh, there's a button. <laughs> we did it. I'm free. Thank you for being tough and stuck. What? Ghostly barman. It was terrible. Wait, why did I need the honey? Oh, I guess I could have used the honey for... Can I go through the door? No. Could have used the honey for the, the wind. By the way, Kaya, I'm curious to know, like, now that we're pretty much nearing the end of the game, do you have, like, any new thoughts, anything else that, in the game that, like, caught your attention? Um... Would be curious to know that. Something you like that maybe I didn't like. I hear beeping everywhere. I clearly need to become something that can destroy these rocks. And I'm thinking that the Molly Coil transformation will be it. Ow. There's a beeping. I don't know what it is. Can you hear it? it? Sounds like it's coming from in here, but that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can't hear it from in here. Yeah, I can... That's really annoying! <laughs> I don't like that sound. It's like a, an alarm or something. Like a very gentle alarm, sure, but oh, there it is. Some to fly. What is this? What is this? Just a platform? Okay. Like, be do 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 do. Oh, is it one that light turns on? No, it's not. There isn't anything else I can do in this world, I think. Without... Am I missing something? I'm pretty sure there's nothing else I can do. Yeah, it might be. But otherwise, too, I'm just... I'm guessing that this will transform into some sort of big monster that will let me go through, but... On the main island... I don't see anything. I don't even see the Molly Cool. I'm guessing I'll go back to the, to the first island. Maybe there's something there. But this seems like a deceptively, uh, deceptively small world. Maybe I need to expand it, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll just expand it. Seems like there's not much there. I need 15. Yep, let's do it. One pagey. <laughs> Super size. Yep, made all of them bigger. And then we only have a boss fight, I'm pretty sure, after this. I'm just going through these games really fast. 
If only there was one of these games that launched recently that had 1,000 collectibles. Whoa! The battlefield grows larger, huh? Watch your backs out there, kids, and come find me when you're ready for a new mission. Who in the world are you? <laughs> wow. Now that looks now this looks like a proper world. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, the beeping is just there. Yeah. Slightly. Oh wait, I can fly. It's only near the tower, I, I'm guessing it's just like something the tower does. Alright. I'm guessing I'll find a molly cool now. In one of the new areas. At least that's my guess. The Jettison. Ha. <laughs> you doubted that it could get more punny. I think it. I hear laughing. There's a ghost. I think it just got punnier than before. Oh, these are all like. It's the hub. Well, obviously, but. It's all in one place. So, yeah. Go through this jetty soon. Um, anything here. Oh, there's Rextro. Need to find his retro coin. Oh, who are you? Oh, you're you're one of the pigs. Hello, greetings, traveler. Uh, rumor has it that there's a great treasure hidden in this island. If thou happen to find out where it, where the vault is, I'll split the spoils 60-40. Alright. What about I take all of it, and you'll get nothing? Oh. Hello, Hamelot. What's your deal here? Om nom nom! Thou, have thou seen the treasure vault around here? My search has been quite tiresome. Om nom nom. If thou find the treasure vault, I will split the gold 70-30. Oh. Bet the vault's down here. Or not. I am a fan of these minions, so... Of all of them, I think these guys are my favorite. Look-wise. I had a friend that his last name was Look-wise. always thought that was a really weird last name. Hello. Oh, hello! Searching for the treasure vault also? If you happen to discover information as it's as to its location, I'll split the spoils with you 50-60. Yeah, 50-60. Oh, I can fly. <laughs> oh, Kaya says, it looks like a f it's a fun looking game. The only bad things are the annoying puzzles. That ringing noise. Good thing you kind of left while we were in the in the um, what's it called? The not the maze. I want to say maze. It's not the maze. The the casino because that was literally all puzzle mini games, and it was the worst. Um, 
Though that world is terrible. I like on the moment I have a thing when I'm playing things like and at the moment I notice things a lot less. I guess because I'm distracted by playing and like thinking about what I'm doing. And talking in this case. But like after sitting a little bit and thinking about how the game was. Oh it's Shovel Knight, he's back. It <laughs> it was pretty bad. What's up, Shovel Knight? Greetings, fellow knights! Now arrive just in time! This guy gets about... This guy gets about, doesn't he? Can't read. I hope he's not expecting to a share of our profits. In my late quest for treasure, I've uncovered this mighty vault containing vast fortune. Unfortunately, a group of swine knights have each claimed a key to the treasure. But their hearts are not yet pure enough to work together to achieve victory. Help me obtain their keys, young lizard, and together we can show them the true ways of the night. Is there a pagey amongst that loot, Shovel Knight? Indeed. Work with me and we'll split this treasure evenly, though you... Thou can have... A page if, and I'll settle for the vast piles of gold. That sounds like a great deal of nonsense. Lately, sure thing, Shovel Knight. We'll talk some sense into those pigs. Here's how to claim one of the keys. Scoffs a lot is normally focused on chowing down. If thou were to charge his belly, I'm confident he would drop his key. Oh. Oh. Thanks for the tip. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Uh, Kaya just said, phew. It was a painful experience. And I was tired, too. Last time we streamed for like four hours. That's... <laughs> Well, four hours more than I usually do, but that's like two hours more than usual. Oh yeah, I just need to charge into you. Oh, why'd that come out from behind? Oh, I can feel my stomach rumbling. Oh, but I've been tired for 11 days. Okay. Alright, that's the key. Okay, I need to find out a way to... Like all the other ones spit their keys as well. Ooh, I didn't see that. That's, uh, that's gonna help with that part. What's in here? Oh, it's one of the pigs. Oi, nobody nicking my key, but if yours find a treasure for I'll split it. 80, 20. Oh, I see. I need to go invisible for this guy. Blame Nora! Where's my key gone? Thank you, thank you. I'm performing all week. Alright, how do I get your key? Do I bounce? No, I didn't want to didn't want to talk to you. Uh, no. Oh, I think I need to heat her, heat her armor. And then with her, her armor heated. Oh, wow. There's a balloon thing. With her armor heated up, I... Ooh, wait a second. Okay. Trying all the things. I... I can. Okay. Wow, these are some very resilient balloons. Okay, so I have water. Okay, I'll, I'll do that again. Oh, there's a play coin. I'm gonna rust you. Yeah. 
Oh, hello, searching for the treasure vault. Also have what? It, it did the sound. It did the sound of I did the correct thing. Oh no, I, I'm at a bad angle. I'm just gonna keep going around. There we go. Nope, another bad angle. There we go. All right. Oh yeah, there's another pig over there. I got two keys, I have three keys to get. I wonder what this guy's deal is. Greetings traveler, great treasure hidden in the island. I'll, I'll ask, I'll ask, uh, Shovel Knight, he probably knows. Hey, Rextro, what's new? Rextro decided to stop trying to learn modern game rules. Oh, no. Rextro learned it okay to be old-fashioned. Even if that make fun, Rextro still believe in himself. Yeah, all right, Blockhead. Old computer characters like you can't be self-aware. Why don't you just skip to the bit about arcade tokens? Oh, yes! Do you have World's Play Coin token? We have a play coin, Rextro. Let's give your game a try. Oh, good. Da -da 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 -da. Right. This one's smaller. Do friends want to play fun arcade game? Yes. Up Nova. Ha ha ha. Pun. Collect quills, dodge obstacles, grab power ups, get high score. Okay. Oh, it's a uh, it's one of these. It shouldn't stay this far forward in a game like this. I should know better. What? Oh, I can't touch the sides. This really makes me want to play Mario Party. And especially the new one. I'm actually, I'm not gonna get it, but like, I'm, I would. If it were on a, on like a home console, like the Switch, the Wii U, whatever. Because it's the top 100 games in, of any, uh, Mario Party. And I saw the list and they actually have some of the good ones, some of the older ones, which are not luck based like it became in the later iterations. Mario Party was a good, like, way of gauging, like, which one of your friends was better at video games, because it, the challenges, oh, the, the game's broken, oh no, okay, no, it's back. The challenges were actually, like, pretty game-oriented, that if you were good at those challenges, it meant you were pretty good at games in general, I'm not doing well. Like, reflexes, uh... Even, like, mashing. The mashing ones were my favorite. But, like, they all tested an actual skill that you might have, even if the mashing was not much of a game skill, I guess, but... It's still, like, a skill, and it's not luck. It later became pretty much all luck-based, which was really annoying. That's why, until now... Up... I, I can't talk. Until today, my favorite Mario Party is 4, where it's... It doesn't have the terrible N64 controller with the analog stick that hurts your hand, but it also keeps the non-luck-based games out. Uh, it was the first one on the GameCube. And the GameCube controller is great. It's one of my- Oh, no. No. I didn't finish. Did I get a thing, Rextro? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to try it again. Yeah, I'll do it again. This is like Flappy Bird. It's annoying. <laughs> Can I fall behind? I can't. Okay. Oh, 
Oh no, that's a wall. Okay. But yeah, uh, Mario Party 4. Great Mario Party. This new one's probably good too, but it's stuck on the 3DS, sadly. Now I have to actually focus on this game because I don't want to play it again. Ooh. I want you silver quill. I saw a comment. I can't read it because I don't want to lose. <laughs> this is life and death here. Score needs to be good. Needs to be perfect. <sighs> Come on. Yep. There we go. I think I'm good. No, this is. I'm still at a part where I was at before. <sighs> uh, I'm not playing it again for the high score. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> No. I think I have a good score. It's not score based, I think you just need to get to the end. Oh no, I see two comments. <laughs> oh, was that a bad one? Why was it dark? Or is it ultra? It's an ultra quill. <gasps> ultra quill. It's probably a platinum quill. If D&D &D monetary values apply to the rest of the world, I guess the rest of the world quills apply to D&D. &D. There we go. Yay! Alright. Yeah, used to play that with my friend... Uh, at my friend's house on the GameCube. It was a lot of fun. Glad you're... You're the one playing, not me. It looks so intense. I'm like, don't hit anything. No, yeah, it's... <laughs> I like... Um, uh, what are they called? They're, not, they're shmups, but they're bullet hells. I think that was like still not a bullet hell, but just completely skip what you said. Uh, they're retro, but you know. But I like those, even though like when it comes to, when it gets to the bullet hell level, I am not a fan. <laughs> okay, I lie. I am a fan, but I'm not good enough to play them, so I end up not playing them. I try really hard. That's what a Cuphead is, and I love Cuphead. Cuphead is the bomb. Alright, any more hints? What's the next target? To obtain the next key from Leap a Lot, thou shall have to employ more, f employ more finesse. To penetrate that armor, try rusting it with water, followed by a deafening war cry. Oh, I see. I think that would distract anyone. Okay, cool. Thank you. I almost figured it out on my own. I guess it would be cool if they were a little bit more logical, because I was I was able to guess the sneaky one, and uh, I half guessed the rusting the armor with leap a lot. If it were just a little bit more logical, like who would scream at something rusted? You know, like. I would maybe try breaking it, which I did try doing. Uh, but I wish, like, a little bit more logic, because, like... 
Oh, I missed my- I think it's just not the ultra scream, just the normal scream. Like, why doesn't one work when the other one does? Oh no, I'm running out of juice. Okay. I need some more juice. Or I should just- could just wait to recharge. Also, I was just joking. Feel free to comment as much as you want while I'm not being able to read it. It's actually one of my favorite things to do on Nikki's stream. And then try to bury something embarrassing we said in a bunch of comments. Don't tell her that, though. Wait, I think I have all the keys. He said three keys, right? I have all the three. All three. What's next? Shoots a lot. It's a tough old dog. That will require my legendary trifecta attack. Tail whirl, buddy slam, and then sonar explosion. Tail whirl, buddy slam. Okay. How can you do a tail whirl without a tail? Such things matter not to a knight of pure heart. And the sonar explosion? I've always had an excellent singing voice. Alright. So it's tail whatever, and then buddy bump whatever, and then explosion. Sonar explosion. Not whatever, because I actually remember the name of that one. Uh, alright. So, bam! Tail! Oh no, he stopped to talk. I need to do it from behind. And then... Buddy slam! And then... Yeah. Try that again and you'll find yourself on the wrong end of my deadly bow. Alright. We got all of them. So we're uh, four parts, Shovel Knight. Not three. <laughs> Still pretty rich. <laughs> Quill-wise. Alright, Shovel Knight, here you go. Strong work, knights! We're all half the keys! And our teamwork paid off up in this mighty vault. Bam! Should've added more gems to this gold pile. That's way more... Shovel Knight speed. I know my Shovel Knights. I beat that. I bet I can, uh... Oh, I thought there was something back there. Apparently not. Huh. I wonder what the fire is for then, because this is fire I can I can drink. Pretty sure. Nope, no it's not. I lied. I think I'm pretty much done with this area. On to the next island. How did he die? What? What's next? I think it's the pirate boat. I think we're going to the pirate boat next. Where could go that way? I have no idea what's over there. Go there. Going into the unknown. It would have been actually, even though it would be a copy, it would have been actually been really cool to see how they would do gravity-based puzzles like Mario Galaxy. I would actually really enjoy seeing that. I was thinking of different uh, platformer games that I could play next. Um, A, do you have any suggestions? B, 
There's... I could just go back in history. I don't need to stay with the new ones. And there are quite a few. Mario Galaxy, Galaxy 2, Sunshine, 64. Uh, what else? Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie. Um, I don't want to play some of the bad ones. Well, I, I still have um, Toy Story 2, which is great. <gasps> Who are you? You're new. Bah. Bah. <clears throat> Can't do another voice. Welcome, gentlemen. Lady and gentlemen, naturally. Blurp! Oh, yes. I apologize. Yeah, now you're using the most attractive thing I feel. Will you temper me, Paul Kitten and Space Goof? There's a grand prize to be won! <laughs> Space Golf? I'll be playing Toad in the hole if you're not lucky. Blech! <laughs> Indeed, allow me to bestow the rules of Space Goof! Roll <laughs> one! Tear up with your fourth for sink. Well done, man. He's recommended. Well, good. First put the ball to the hole before the timer runs out. Well, that's right. A proper best swear must be worn at all times. Failure to comply with me that no choice but to release the security team to dispose of uncouth offenders. So, we're recycling games now, game. This was in the casino world, by the by. Uh. Ah. Uh, screw you, little guys. Please tell me you can go through. Yes. Yes. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like super pushed up. What? Don't you dare fall off, ball. Yeah. Guys, can you get out of the way? Yeah. Ow. Get out of the way. Alright. Oh, I thought they were like speed bar bumps. Oh, camera, come on. Booty time! Booty time? I think it might be really late, or I might be reading this super late. Wait, this one, this one, this one. I need to, I need to make it. Oh, I did it, I did it. Don't fall off, don't fall off. It's a windmill. Don't know many platformers, most of them is the ones you have just mentioned. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... There must be more. There must be more. I'm just, you know... Uh. <laughs> and that's why I hate windmills in mini golf. I remember when I was a child. 80 years ago. And I played mini golf. And the windmill was my greatest enemy. Oh, it's right there. I have 40 seconds. Come on. Please get out of the way. Come on, go in. Go in. Yes! Oh, it will appear if we have a winner. Come on, get me to look at your plan. I'm not wrong. Alright, thanks, Frogman. There must be more. I am honestly considering playing Odyssey, though. I wish I could decrease the latency for the... from video to chat. I, I guess I could just take that into consideration. Alright. I hope the other ones aren't just recycled things that we had in the other worlds like this was. Alright. 
What's up next? Oh, it's the plant. Oh no. I'm stuck. You just wrote, I'm not sure about how much. You can probably get, I'm guessing like maybe a minute, minute and a half. That's my guess. I don't think it's a big idea, I just need to get used to like, uh, what's, what's the word? Just used to the delay and remember what I said one minute ago. <laughs> It shouldn't, hopefully, be that hard. Hopefully. It's the same kind of deal with when I'm watching other streams, too. Like, they- it takes a while for them to be able to see it. Where does this go? This is just an empty room with the teleporter in the middle. Yeah, not too bad. Just receive your... Seems like another Mario Galaxy puzzle. Oh. Oh, there's a button. Missed the button. Oh. was it? Okay. Didn't need to go crazy far. Um... Oh. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, I need to push this. gonna kill me. Um... Um... You need to retry that? Do we need to push this one? No. Further? Oh yeah, I do. Okay, I get it. Okay. Yay! Yes! More life. I missed two. Two of those. can fly. There we go. Alright, not down. Another thing I'm thinking of, I, I do want to play a lot of platformers, but, but I also really like very story-driven games. And, but I also like them, like, a little bit on the more... What's the word I'm looking for? Like... Like, System Shock. And... Bioshock, for that. But I've, I've honestly, throughout the years in the past, I've streamed Bioshock so many times. <laughs> Probably not doing that one. Uh... How do I get out of here? It's clearly pointing me up. 
Do I need to like be fast enough to get up here while the water is still up? I'll try that. I like games, yeah, like Bioshock. I think Deus Ex, really interesting game. The old ones and even the new ones. So stuff like that that has kind of like uh, this weird society that you live in. Not so much on the cartoony side, but very much more on like just, you know, the just more thoughtful commentary on stuff. I think those are very interesting too. Um... I feel stuck. Oh wait. Oh wait. No, nope, that's the wrong. That's the wrong power. There are too many powers. Uh no, it's this one. Nope. Thought I'd be able to break this glass. Um How am I supposed to exit this? Do I need to light these? Did you see anything? <laughs> I'm stuck. I don't really need water to climb any of this. Oh, oh no. Do you have any time slowing? Okay. I have all the moves. Did I try the glass shattering one? Bees. Why? Why did it have to be bees? I did try the rolling one, right? No, that's... Uh, I keep doing it the wrong thing. I did. Yeah. Alright. So if I'm right, if I just wait a little bit, the bees disappear. Okay. Cool. Uh, do you have any ideas? Oh no, there's a bunch of bones here. Oh! Oh! And there is our solution. Thank you, accidents. I just need to get through here. Thank you. I'm gonna wait for 10 seconds. That's a bug there. Yeah, look at that. It's a bug that only pops up when I'm near the wall. Doesn't do that anymore. Huh, interesting. Okay. Oh, camera. <laughs> Calm down. Alright, I think that's it for this area. Nice. It really feels like they went for a more galaxy design by making these like not all connected it's less of an open world like the rest of the game has been it's more like uh more uh, just linear you have to go into hubs and they all have oh camera <laughs> they each have their own specific uh goals and honestly that's why it's at the same time where finally this year culminated in a year where all of these platformers released. They suffered from a game that had been in planning for years, which was Mario Odyssey, and they did something com completely new, like that these other games have been trying to go against. They're still looking at Galaxy almost for reference. I just lit up <laughs> there. And they go with a more linear style. And uh, instead of really going with a Sticking with the more open world style, it seems. Uh, I think that... Um, Hat in Time did a much better job, but it's still, there were points where you saw that 
they went for a much more linear style in their game. Think of the the horror world had it was very open, but when it came to its missions in the mansion, um, and uh, even the entire world of the movie, the movie sets. Okay, what am I doing here? Okay, these guys don't get hurt. The movie set world. Um, what other world? There was a horror world. That one was pretty open. What was the fourth world? Uh, the yes, the uh, camera. Come on. The kind of like Himalayan world and the mountains with the goat people. That world was also very linear. Um. And those felt, like, subpar in comparison to the rest of the game itself. And this one feels too, even though I love the design, I love how great this is. Okay, I'm exaggerating, and when I say how great this is, I mean, like, how great it looks, that's what I mean. I think it's actually pretty, it's a pretty, uh, subpar world, if I'm being honest. Um, which is a bummer, but, uh... I just wish that they would have kept with the more open-ended adventure style and not try to modernize it to a more linear style in some cases. And for a game, or for this game specifically, I hear a lot of people saying, you know, giving the excuse that it's an indie game, it was a small studio. And I think that, uh, oh, 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 oh. And I think, again, I like to hold games to one standard. I'm not gonna give people passes just because they're a small studio. If you're a small studio and you're trying to do something, you better do it right. Like, you shouldn't be trying to do things that you can't do. It's great to be ambitious and you should be. You should try new things. But you definitely shouldn't be too crazy about it. You should understand your limitations and still innovate, still do what you- Oh, where is that? Still try new things, but evolve with time. Learn things that are more simple that you can do, do them well, make them a really cool thing. And then after that you're like, okay, now I know how to do these things, I'll go to onto something harder. Uh, Kaya, I find that Open world games, for me, takes the focus away from the story a little too much, like in Fallout 4. Yeah, I agree. I meant specifically with uh, platformers, platforming games. And, uh, you think, you can think of Mario 64, Mario, I'm gonna be using the same ones because these are the ones that people know. Mario 64, Mario, um, Sunshine, Mario Odyssey. And, uh, from the other one, Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, even Banjo-Tooie, but even though Banjo-Tooie went too crazy, that was their problem. They did open world, but it was too crazy. And by open world, it really means just a non-linear experience. They still have these smaller worlds, but they are completely non-linear. You do them however you want. Um... You don't have, like, a set of missions that you have to follow inside each world in a specific order. If you think back to 64, Mario 64, they guide you, but they don't force a... Why is there an X here? They don't force a specific order onto you. Like, you can't in bob on Battlefield. You can do the things in order, or you can do the red coin mission, or you can do the tr uh, the um, chain chomp mission. It's all up to you. 
So that's what I mean by open world. Yeah, I don't I don't mean it in general. Well, hello there, strangers. You are invited by Galaxy Famous Star Fishing. TM. I'm not sure we've played that sport. How does it work? Well, cast your eyes above. Out here on the solar seas, we like to fish for falling stars. <laughs> I'm sure you'll agree it's a fishable civilized sport. I've dedicated my game to this pastime ever since I escaped the bad days. <laughs> that sounds ominous. Oh, it's pretty. Want to give it a try? That's more than 15 in, in the time limit, and I'll give you a prize. But avoid you want to try, they'll come against you. Yes, I'll try. Sure, we'll give it a go, Froggy. <laughs> Excellent! Get ready to cast your rod out! He you guys better with his tongue, to be honest. Knowing Rare, that was probably super sexualized. I need to use my tongue. Tongue, tongue. Tongue, tongue, tongue. Um... But yeah, it was a solution for a while to have these uh, collect-a-thon games be more linear. Because it's way harder if you want to, like, make it so the player can do whatever they want. I guess it's also true with any open world game. But it worked a lot better with the speed of, of platformers to allow you to do whatever you want. Because the cool thing about platformers is um, you see something in the distance and you're like, Hey, I want to check that out. I want to go after that and figure out what happens. Um, and... That was something that was completely lost in Galaxy. Galaxy, you were very much led uh, to places. You didn't have, like, that, Oh, look at that over there! I want to try getting there! And that's why I think Odyssey is one of the best platformers. Having now played and pretty much ha gotten to, like, 600 and something stars, I think. Not exact exactly sure about that number. But I think I'm at around 600 and something, which is past the end game. Um, I absolutely love it, because it's back to that, you're thrown to these worlds, there is, as always, Mario doesn't have, like, a crazy story, so it's not like it's detracting from a story, even though, you know, it's back to the usual, except, you know, Bowser wants to marry Peach this time, for real, instead of, you know, just being, I'm kidnapping you. Hey, Cardos, greetings, fella, after losing all my gems. In that there casino, I came out here to mine some gold. Alright. Yes. But yeah, when it comes to just open worlds in general, it it's really hard to do. Uh, I think that only a few games really, really pull it off right. And even then, they, they don't really because there's no urgency. I think that's probably something everyone says a lot. That it lacks urgency when you're... Oh, crap. When you're you're in an open world game. Oh, it's it floats higher. I see. That was supposed to be a long jump. Oh well. Um I have as good examples of an open world game. But it still lacks urgency, like, you have a main mission you should be doing to save the world or whatever. But you don't, because, you know... You, you can do whatever you want. Um, and one of these games that I consider to be very good... ...are, uh... With The Witcher 3, I think that they do a stellar job of making an open world game because every story matters, every story adds to it. But you still do have a main quest. And I only think that an open world will be truly good when you don't have a main quest. I think that will fix open world games. 
Um, because open world games, now that I've discovered D&D, they are... They try to be that. They try to be an adventure that you make your own. Um... But their main problem is that they try to... To get you somewhere. They want to give you a cool ending. Um... I am messing this up so bad. Because I'm talking. I'm completely distracted. Um, they want to get you somewhere. And that doesn't really work for... I need 200, don't I? Shucks. Yeah, I'll try it again. Hoo-wee, let's go. So I think a game without... A, an open world game without a main quest might be the solution to a successful open world game. Where it's not really that it lacks a main story, but what it does do is all its side quests are just story. It's not, there's no, no such thing as a side quest, they're all story for you to take in. And, uh, once that becomes the case, there's not any urgency. The urgency is in the mission itself. And how great would it be, like, you start a game, you don't really have a, a purpose, you're just living your life. I'm not gonna try this anymore, it, the floaty controls are killing me. Because it's space, it, it has, like, lower gravity. But we got to see it to the end, so that's fun. Yeah, that's the problem with this game. It has so many, like, annoying things. That's like, it's not fun. It's fun the first time, but then having to try it over and over and over. Oh, look, it's that character we saw. Yeah, I'll talk to her and I'll keep talking about open world games. Hey, we've not seen you before. Uh, you're not a baddie, are you? That depends who's asking. We're the heroes. You might recognize us from the box art. This game had no box art, it was a digital release. You're the guys tracking those golden pages, huh? I think I can help you out. I saw that. L I saw what looked like a pagey up there. Okay. Oh, that's a long way up. Yeah. And you'll need some serious equipment to get up there. Unscathed. My shield is damaged, so I can't go myself. Laylee has seen her own inbuilt shield. What? Hey, Laylee has her own inbuilt shield. Perhaps we can help. Yes, perhaps you can. Ever heard of a blam? Heard of the Blamphibians? They're a dangerous bunch you wouldn't want to mess with. And they're building a secret weapon up on, on top of that planet. Luckily, I know a weakness if you can make it up there. They built a self-destruct sequence in case someone stole their plan. Very sensible. That's what I would do. I can destroy the force field on the fly shaft. That can take you up there, but I can't get past these shields to get close enough. Oh, we can. We need to work together. I'll weaken the shields for you. You find the ways down there. Join up the other side. Okay. So like, you're not going anywhere. You're just thrown in a world, and it's up to you where you go from there. Yeah, exactly. And I think that. Oh, I forgot. I need to use my thing. No, that's the wrong thing. Did I get through? I did. Yeah, uh, so it's it's a game where you don't have a main mission. Think about... I kind of want to stop to talk about this, but I'll keep going. Oh. There we go. Um, that's how you do it, okay. Think about uh, one that kind of does that. Um, and it does so very well, is uh, a little game called Fallout New Vegas. You wake up, you have amnesia, so you don't really, like, the, the guy's like, oh, you, we found you beat up, whatever, you can go figure it out. 
You don't have to. Oh, crap. Oh, it's water. I forgot. Well, quote-unquote water. It's not actual water. It's evil water. I love that I can just go around. These are not very well. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Fallout New Vegas. Did that. And, uh, it was... Okay. Oh, I just need to... What? Why is it not opening? Do I need to undo all of them? Is that... You gotta be kidding me. I missed one of them, didn't I? I'm gonna have to go all the way back. <laughs> See, like, this is bad. Like, they, if they allow me to go through in other manners... I should be able to... Granted, I think I skipped the part where she said that I needed to destroy all these seals to open that. But still. If then if it's a requirement, then I shouldn't... Good job. Great, great for you. I shouldn't need to do it like that. Good work so far, but we're not done. I'll unlock the door so you can go up. I guess it's because we needed to let her in. Also, she's really weird in this game because we're all animals and different things and she's human. Or I think she's human. Uh, Kaisa, so like Witcher 3 without the Finding Siri part. Yeah, exactly, but I think... Oh yeah, Witcher 3 would be a good one because their side quests are really good. But think of side quests that are bigger than side quests. Um, think of quests that could be like five to six hour games like they used to be like in the old days in the old days and okay where do i need to go oh, crap. so you you get to like go and do whatever you want um um sorry i had to focus there a little bit yeah, I know, I know. I just need to jump down. The problem with this game is that it has too many moves. It's a problem. <laughs> Having too many moves is a problem. It gets confusing. Um... But yeah, Fallout New Vegas does it. Pretty well. Like, there's still a main quest, but it's very much laid back, there's no world-ending thing, at least not when you're starting the game. So it doesn't really matter. But obviously the side quests are very side questy, so it would be a case of a team like CD Projekt Red, where they are so dedicated to their game. I love, I love Witcher 3. Like, their side quests are so fun, they're always interesting. Maybe not always, but like, most of them are very interesting. Like, even the smallest ones, the one where you have to get the pan for the lady. It's funny, it's lighthearted. Um... So, imagine, like, a, a great team like CD Projekt Red, but instead of making a main quest and a bunch of little, little, um, side quests, they did some... Also, just <laughs> as a tangent. I love the side quest uh, with the... I never got too far with Witcher 3, if I'm being honest. But uh, I love the side quest with the well. The well ghost, the well spirit, right in the beginning in the first village. You stop. I think that that is just a phenomenal side quest. That game nails side quests, and that's the thing, it would just be, instead of being a side quest, those would be the main missions, and they would be a lot longer and more intricate. Like, they would have more to them. The well one, probably... That's the thing, those are built to be short. They would just be completely different missions, different things you do. But it's just you living in a world, and you doing the quests, and maybe those quests add up to something. Maybe they... Like, you did certain things, but they're all missions of their own. They're all quests of their own. They're not being held back by a main quest. That's kind of like the idea I've always wanted to see with a game like this. Well, not like this. A game like an RPG. 
that would truly be an RPG in like the original sense of it being originally, uh, you know, like pen and paper. Going out there. Also, this is the, um, this red, uh, stall here is the one that was voiced by JonTron, but because of his, like, racist remarks, quote-unquote, allegedly, allegedly racist remarks, um, he got uh, taken out of the game. So here it is. This is a different voice, then. For, for this stall. There's someone out there! Help! <laughs> um, hello? What seems to be the problem? Thank goodness! It's right messing here! The plumbing's had it, and I'm on the verge of serious problem! Yikes! How can I help? How can we help? If you need to use the facilities, you'll have to go down below and fix the plumbing! Oh no. Be quick though! This cabin is almost out of stock, and all I've got left is this golden piece of paper. Oh no. Can you wash it afterwards? We're collecting those. Lately, we'll be as quick as we can, sir. Just hold on. Thanks a bunch, fellas. I'll hold on. I'll get the door for you. I've just got the remote. Alright. Yeah, that's always something I've wanted to see. It, obviously, it makes the game a lot harder. It means that there's going to be a bunch of different end games, A bunch of different things, because some people just won't do some of the missions. Uh, alright, here we go. Kaya says, I would I would buy a Witcher game like that without a main quest and the choice to create my own Witcher and explore the world. Yeah, and imagine how replayable that game would be. Like, you go through, you go to, like, a, a quest, a sequence with a certain endgame. You end up getting one of the endgames. But you could have gone a completely different way. <laughs> imagine a, a Witcher game that is already... Hundreds of hours long, but then made even longer. Oh, I need to fly. Or I, I, I use the shield. Even longer by that. How amazing that would be. Not just because of, of length, because length obviously doesn't, should not be the main focus of saying if a game is good or valuable or not. But imagine how replayable that would be. That would ensure something that. All of these game makers have been wanting for years, which is a way for people not to sell their games back. Except this is the hard way to do it, right? They want the easy way to do it. Not CG, CD Projekt, but like EA and Activision, all these guys. They want the easy way to do it, and it's understandable. If you're a business and that's what your goal is, it's to make money. This is just my way to make money. Then yeah. You know? But it doesn't make for great games. So if they were really to try... That would be the ultimate way to do it. Just create games that... Oh, cool. It's, they just keep opening shortcuts. Create a game that... Is so open-ended like that. That... It, and, uh, um... That it just becomes pretty much infinitely replayable. Maybe not infinitely. Otherwise it'll become like Skyrim. <laughs> Which, if we're all being honest, not what we want. Because then you get repeating missions of the annoying type. Or like Fallout 4, because they applied the same mechanism in Fallout 4. But that time, it became the se settlement problems. And the famous, A new settlement needs your help! Help the settlement! Yes! Flushing! I'm saved! And I think that that would, um, actually I'm just going to ask you to clarify it. Uh, Kaya says, yeah, not like a sandbox RPG game. 
What would you consider a sandbox RPG game? Because, like, in my mind, I would consider a true sandbox RPG game a game like this, that there's no main quest. It is very much you do what you want. I think I'd describe that as a sandbox. You can just go whatever, go wherever, do whatever. Because I think that was the original intent with it. Um... Still haven't gotten that one. Do I need more light? Oh, I'm good. Did I eat that? I didn't eat that. There we go. I'm good. Oh, crap. It was really sad when I discovered the the fate of a, a great game, uh, Dead Space, and uh, that was a sucking one, and all because of of EA's greed and how it was completely destroyed because of it. It was it was quite sad for me because like EA made a promise that they would be better, make more story-oriented games. And they were for a little bit. Um, and everyone was surprised and very happy. Because how awesome was that? Uh, okay. Like, they were focusing, they were making Mirror's Edge, they were making um, Dead Space. I forget which other one they were making. They were they were making some really good games. And then slowly we well we saw Mirror's Edge die. They just did the second one because people were clamoring for it, but they didn't really want to do it. And so much so that they kind of made they kind of shoot it in and it wasn't as good. They made it an open world, and that was the big problem. It was an empty, vast open world, which is usually the problem with these games. Um... Let me figure out what the deal is with this one. Guess I have to... Cool. What are you with this? What do I do with that? Oh, I see. Well, that's even harder. <laughs> Need more butterflies. And just because of corporate greed, like it did well. Oh, I used them all for life. Didn't mean to do that. Um, they turned it into more and more of an action game because action games made more money. And um, it just... That's not how it works. Horror games are much more of a niche kind of game. They can't expect to sell that much. That's what happened to Resident Evil for a long time. And with Resident Evil 7, they... Um, they finally took it back to horror, but if you look at the the sales numbers, Resident Evil 5 is still their top-selling game ever. And uh, even though I, I enjoy Resident Evil 5, it's not what the series is. I'll be the first one to say that. Um, and um, it's still today. Like, Resident Evil 7 didn't sell nearly as much as five. Five so so like I don't know how many times more. It's ridiculous. But they uh in back in the case of Dead Space, EA just completely uh ignored that. They really just wanted to make profitable games, just like how they are now. They closed visceral. They closed the studio that was making story-based games in the, 
because they want more service-based games like Destiny, which make a lot of money because people keep buying more and more of it. And now with the loot box, <laughs> we keep going back to that, but it's a part. It's they're just adding all the bad things we hate about this these commerce about commerce and games, and they're just adding them all together. Um. Oh, didn't notice this was a robot. It did. It did look like legs. This a door. Kind of windy. What are you for? So it's just really sad that that's how things are ending up. Mess that up. Alright. Uh, Kaya says, Well, maybe not too sandbox, but in that direction. Like, you create your own character and here's a world with quests that has a story, multi-endings. Well, I guess it would be a sandbox game. Okay, so, well, maybe not too sandbox, but in that direction. Oh, I, <laughs> I was reading your previous message wrong. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but... You meant by saying, yeah, not like it's sandbox RPG. You were saying that these games that kind of made themselves more linear ended up letting go of their sandboxiness and even though they, they kind of like said they were very much like that so i think i was talking about fallout 4 where that one has such a strict story like it tells you who you are you are a father father or you are a mother of a child you will save said child now it's such a specific story for an RPG. And yeah, it takes away from the sandbox elements. It takes away from you creating your own character. The fact that you get to create that character doesn't really matter because you literally only created their look. Their personality is all set. They are... Like, you can choose the different things they say, but they, they're father or mother. And, uh, that's who they are. They have a whole story, a whole ba lot of baggage coming into the game. What's up with you? Yar, who goes there? The rules are clear. Ye must announce yourself when entering the captain's cabin. Why don't you just turn the lights on? The lights? Darn it, man. Ye know the captain has irrational fear of shadows. Now, announce yourself, lousy intruder. It's your, uh, second mate, Billy. Ah, yes, Billy. I didn't recognize ye before the strange lizard boys. You're a bit early, Billy. The captain's rubdown ain't due for another. Uh, until then, be gone. Game and there it's innuendos. It loves its innuendo. I don't want to rub the captain down. This is my song about not wanting to rub the captain down. Why is there fire here? I don't think it would be to scare him, because I'm betting the light alone is going to scare him. 
So just like picking this up. Oh, I need to light that. Okay. Yara, is that you, Billy? Uh, are you mad? We cast all manner of the shadow just late. Oh, okay, so I need to light this thing. Why is there the glow in the dark thing then? Kai says, it's too written backstory for FO4, Fallout 4. Although I plan to make the bloodiest rescue mission in history to save the sun. <laughs> yeah. What would you say is the best um, RPG that is the least intrusive? It has the least amount of, like, backstory that it already gives you, where it just leaves it mostly to you. Like, that I know of, personally, I think it's Fallout uh, New Vegas. But that's like, maybe there's another one. So I'm curious, like, what do you find to be the most, like, open-ended? Not open-ended, but just, like, the one with the most freedom when it comes to who you are in the game. I think I'm done with this world, too, by the way. Oh, there's a few extra things I can do. But I feel done with this world. Nope. Oh! Never ring with that clearing such like that. Can I do a... No. I think I just need to go from up there. I need to climb up. I like that the camera doesn't go top down. <laughs> what? Okay. can't pull this off. So close! <laughs> Surprisingly close. <laughs> How crazy I was trying to do it. Oh. Thanks, game. Can I fly like this? There we go. Oh no, they went black. Great work, recruit. You've more than proved yourself fully qualified war machine. Enemies of the Bamphibians will still be forming the sound of our new green and purple war machine. Take a good note of that, and head straight to war, recruits! And no war for us. This is, I think, the last thing I'm gonna gather today. And then I'm going back to the hub. For an RPG, it is Oblivion. Really? Oblivion. I haven't played that, so I don't know. I have no idea. Um, interesting, but that's non-linear. Just because it's the same studio as, uh, you know, Fallout 4 and the ones that tend to be less non-linear, so linear, I guess that's the easier way to say that. Um, I think Skyrim, they were still doing an okay job of making it pretty non-linear, it's like you were just a dude that we're about to die. See, like, they were keeping up with that idea of you being a, pers a person 
that didn't have a story. You were about to get, be killed. You were building your story right then and there. You didn't have a real main quest, like, story-wise. Obviously, there was a main quest in the game, but... So, I never got to play Oblivion. Um, honestly, I'm not that crazy into Elder Scrolls. I'm much more of a fan of, like, modern time games than, uh... Old-timey games. Like, fantasy. Classic fantasy. Uh, knock knock? Oh, man, we don't need to draw, man. It's you. How do you make it this way past the corporate creations? We walked past most of them. Had to whack one or two, though. Quack! You foul fool! I told you we should have invested in that private military portfolio. Anyway, now that you... You're here. Fancy coming up for a cup and get a heck of proper tea? Yes, please. It's like, oh no, I think I activated the... Well, my office... My... Open door policy... My office open door policy closes unless you've collected, say, a hundred pages total. Uh -huh. Come on, Laylee, let's see if beating their challenges and collecting a hundred pages can gain their attention. How many pages do I have? Review totals. 88! Okay, I'm not that far. Alright, I'll continue later. This will be it for me, though. Uh, it's about time to finish, too. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Ooh, shortcut. Yes, please. Where, how far back does it take? And uh, I'll probably be back- No, no, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow afternoon. I might be way later, way later, tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I'm just opening up this shortcut and seeing where it takes me. Just for reference. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's right next to World 2. Okay. Nice. Yep. See you, Kaya. Have a good one. And uh, yeah, that's it. See everyone later.